number one, that you need to have a solid process and system first. You know, if you don't have that, then you're just winging it and it's going to be a waste of your time. I would have to be the leads, but not just the leads, but we really have to look for the people who are really close to our ideal profile. Um, I would just stress the subject line. It's the first thing that they see and it determines if they even open your email. Because if you don't get that right and they don't open your email, it's all wasted time and effort. Um, and like Yuri said, it has to be personal and simple at the same time. Um, and like we all get enough emails that we delete before we even open. So we need to make sure that our emails don't become one of those. Um, and so I guess the biggest thing that you would not do, on the other hand, is have a long subject line. In, in, in this time, it, it is all about pattern interruption. <clears throat> There's so much templated outreach that people tend to recognize it. Well, and making sure that, okay, it's, it's authentic um, was definitely helpful, especially with, you know, our closely held newsletter list. You know, the, the those are the ones near and dear and, uh, you know, high appointment rate, just low conversion because there was no pain, but they had, a, they we've took another step in the relationship, at least, you know, keep, keep it in touch. That's the first thing. Don't ruin the relationship you already have. And links also reduce the amount of steps it'll take for that prospect to request a meeting with you. So if I'm yes, think absolutely. It's something that you can track. You know, it's not only then you have your metrics of people who are opening your emails, you have also the people who are clicking your emails, which are almost even better. You know what they clicked on, where they went, how many times they clicked, and then it just becomes a hotter lead for you. And the fact that within the Nerdwise system, I'm able to know who's our top most engaged prospects. Um, that's the benefits of, of having an email system like that, which, you know, after a certain campaign, you know exactly how many touch points you've done um, and how many people are actually responding or opening. Even if they have not requested a meeting or have not responded um, to those emails, you know that there's some sort of interest. Try not to show off as a marketer. So I'm just like, I don't, instead of having all like, you know, capital letters at the beginning of the words in the subject line, I'm using all lowercase. I mean, it's, it's already a pattern interruption. So, hey. It's just bringing my personality into it. A thing that I think many companies, you know, mess up sometimes is like the font. You know, it sounds super simple. Just keep the same font, same size. It says a lot to whoever's reading your email. If things are not in the same font, it just looks, it shows this organization. How, how should marketing be supporting sales with, with email? And, and, and how, how, does that, how does that look? What should that relationship look like? Anybody can, can take that one. I think that they, they definitely have to work together. The, the end goal is the same and their performance most of the time is measured by the same metrics. We want new leads. We want to close deals. Um, so I feel like when sales is calling on these leads, they can call during and after the campaign is going. If they're clicking, if they're opening, call them. Um, if they have been engaging, but they haven't actually responded, call them. You know, and then if you still don't hear from them and say to P was called multiple times, we've emailed one month, two months later, we go and do a check back. Maybe that's the time that they're interested. I mean, for me, within the system that we work with at NerdWise, you know, Ashley's efforts um, on the marketing side supplement what I'm doing. Again, it's the whole point of working smarter, right? Um, which means that calling upon the prospects that are the most engaged and obviously that comes a lot from the marketing efforts um, of the marketing team. Thing, but, the, but the key to it is even if you can in the messaging provide value, that's, that's a lot harder, but at least make sure that what you're selling the appointment uh, in our case is, is a value. Yeah. yeah, just sharing additional value, sharing the recording of an event like this to all of our past leads just so they have it, giving them value and they have this information and the tips um, and not even going for the meeting, just giving them the recording so they have it. It still keeps NerdWise in the front of their minds. Um, it still keeps you connected.